quick tour of the enclosure. Uh, we did cut the door in half to make it like, I don't know, one of those bar doors. I still got to trim it out and everything, but it's just nice so that every time I walk by, I can see the guys, take a look, see what they're doing. Best thing I did here is make a hay box and that really contains the hay keeps it from getting all over the closure and makes it a lot more clean. I used dirt and peat moss for them to dig in on the first enclosure and the dust, the amount of dust that that created was horrible. And um, I do not recommend that. I highly recommend just making a hay box for them to get into. They can dig and bury themselves and then once a week i can come in here in a couple of minutes sweep whatever little bits of hay that they've spread around and i am done another thing that i learned the hard way is all of their cubbies and dens and holes make sure they're accessible the first one i built was not and i was having to crawl around to get a hold of these guys if I needed to. Not only that, I kept losing them because I had so many spots from the hide. One of the best things that I've done, which really helps, is these windows I traded out for an acrylic that is UV transparent. Same type of an acrylic that's used in tanning booths. One of the best things that I did is there's a bathroom on the other side here, so I took out the wall there put these faucets in, makes it so much easier to clean out the floor, to fill up their water bowls, all that kind of stuff. Uh, they will pee, and uh, these guys can make a big puddle. Even this little guy here can make a huge puddle. I would never have believed he could do all that. So Panzer is not very nice to taco. Um, he bites at the shell and then tries to um, be friendly, which makes us think that this isn't just a taco, but more of a mm, taquita. So we actually divided their room in half, and uh, that way we can let Taco here grow up and maybe defend herself a little bit. Not something that you have to do, but a little quality of life thing is right here on the ramp. We actually put a little storage space under here so that we just have a place to put extra lights and their food and who knows what all. Uh, when Panzer's not sick, I'll put his nebulizer in there. So we put the ramps in. I mean, we had to make dens and cubbies and places for them to get under and hide. So we thought we might as well put the ramps in and give them, you know, some more variety, something to do. Uh, and then they can actually get up here in the window and sun themselves. Right now it's warm outside. I got the window open. I figure that'll give them even more real sunlight. It's really funny when the window is open they will actually follow the sun uh, right here that section of sun is from that window there he'll sit in that versus sit in this section of sun so you can actually tell the difference between um, I don't know the, what you'd call it the purity of the sunlight Here's a view from this angle of the room. That uh, half barrel there, we are going to grow some plants that will come down on either side. And then they can eat from it without killing the plant. If you put a plant in here where they can get to the base of the plant, they'll destroy it. So we've gotten hanging plants. This one's called a wandering Jew. And it's another hanging plant. We just got it so it hasn't managed to grow yet. And then we've got little 
spots that they can climb around in. We try to give them a lot of variety to get in and around and, and just uh, give them a good, good variety of stuff to do. Uh, toys. Oh, there goes Taco up his ramp. Um, his favorite, favorite thing is the hay box and then this heat pad. He absolutely loves it. Most of his day when he's not patrolling, he is either on that heat pad or he's in the, uh, his hay box. Okay, some toys we got for him. That ball is uh, Panzer, shall we say, companion. Uh, he likes to push the, the box around. And at least a couple of times a week, he has gone through and pushed these blocks uh, across the floor. He used to think it was an accident, but I've actually seen him just like push, push a block all the way over here. I had a log in here he liked to push around, but... I need to get another one. It's He got it all busted up. Um, water's deep enough for him to get in. I've never seen him get in at once. He actually goes up to the edge, sticks his head in, and drinks. However, Little Taco will get into his um, water bowl and, and, and soak and uh, make a mess of it. In fact, it looks like he's made another mess of it. I need to clean that out. Um, it's really nice by putting this in the, the uh, furnace room or the wet room. I've got sump area there. I can, um, water can go in. Got a drain there. I've got another drain right here. So it makes it nice if we want to do a wash out in the room. If at all possible I would highly recommend that um, and believe it or not as big as taco space is for how little he is he uses all of it he pretty much the only place he doesn't go is back in that corner but otherwise he meanders around the whole space Panzer's a little more lazy he uh, well he's also sick right now so he's uh, he's in that den hiding um, he's actually mad at me right now because of the uh, the breathing treatments I have to give him. So anytime I walk in the room, he just turns around and walks away from me right now. So those are some of the tips and tricks that I have for a room. After having remodeled this thing about three or four times, um... Uh, I'll tell you what, I wouldn't put uh, a substrate down directly on the floor. Um, they don't, they, it just, if, if you've got it piled up in the corner for them to dig, they're just going to dig it out and spread it all over the place. And then you're spending every other day piling that hay or whatever back up or dirt like I had at one point in time. Do the hay box. The hay stays in the box most of the time. They can dig in there, get out, go back in, and the hay's still there for them to dig in, which they dig in at least once a day. That's where they both sleep is in their hay box. Uh, probably, if I could recommend one thing, the hay box is, is the biggest thing that I would recommend for them. And with that, I would love... If you guys would leave comments, uh, questions uh, that you have, and I would love to hear ideas and suggestions. I always want and am open to making things better. So I would really appreciate it if you guys would leave a comment of one of those two things. Thank you.